Well, it is rather different weather this morning, isn't it, Zazzy, to what we've been used to past few events. Probably can't pick it up on there, but it is raining quite a lot and it is meant to rain all day. So I think it's going to be a very wet, a very wet day eventing at Barbary. Um, so yes, she's in, she's plaited up. She was actually shivering when she came in, which I think was a mixture of nerves and the fact that it was raining. So I've put another fleecy rug on top of her travel rug, but I will take that off before we get going. Even the cat has come in here to shelter out of the rain. You're my little buddy whilst I was plaiting up. So yeah, plaits are done, but you probably won't be able to see very well with her being in the stable. So yes, if you haven't seen from the title, today we are back to Barbary for the 100. And hopefully, because it is a bit rainy, it's a lot cooler today. So I'm thinking that will actually work in our favour. Because she won't get as hot. But anyway, yes, we are about ready to go. So I will get her travel boots on, you know the drill, and uh, catch up with you when we get there, probably. So here we go, ready for dressage, and I will keep the whole thing in this time. Um, this is in fact the same test as we did uh, last event, so it was quite good to do the same one because obviously last time it went so badly, so I was hoping that this time it would go a little bit better. Um, as you can see, the weather was really not on our side, it had not improved, in fact it got worse um, since we left home, but we had a pretty good entry and we actually scored a nine for our centre line uh, with the comment very straight which is always nice because when you're riding something like Pizzazz you just have to try and ride it as accurately as possible because she will not do you any favours basically. So for that turn across the centre line we got an eight with no comments and then we're coming down the three quarter line. Um, we got 7.5 with the comment more impulsion. I would say this judge throughout section was pretty kind. Um, so I thought it was an okay test but not amazing but I think looking back she doesn't look quite as laboured as she did the week before or whenever, a couple of weeks beforehand. Now we've gone into a 15 metre circle, 7.5 with the comment more forward which is fair enough but I think she's swinging a little bit more than she did last time just about i am still having to work very hard though like it um it's not going to change unfortunately just some days she feels better than others then for that turn across the the middle we got an eight and then we're just mirroring again so down the three quarter line and i had a panic coming around that corner that i was not turning onto the right line but luckily it was good and um 7.5 more impulsion, which is obviously the reoccurring theme. Most of our comments are just more forward or more impulsion or more action. And then this is the 15 metre circle, which again, even though she's not forward, I'd say she's less giraffe like than last time. Like her head is in a better frame, which is why I think we got um, better marks than before. And now we are changing the rain, which we've got an 8. I think she looks quite nice there. I think I'm busy uh, clicking at her in this corner where the judge can't hear me and telling her to just get a move on because we've got to do our first canter transition. But actually that doesn't look as bad as it felt. Um, and I think again there, because we're coming towards the judge, we can't see as much as we think. And now this was where it went a bit wrong. I was probably thinking, oh, this is going well, and then I completely overshot that turn. So we got a six for this with shape of circle underlined which is fair enough because as I was riding it I knew that I had messed that up big time which was annoying because like I said I try not to throw marks away and I really did that and then we do this funny kind of short change the rain with trot just after x uh, which I think she stayed quite nice and forwards for and now it's the dreaded walk because um, once you walk you can't really get her back again and you can see how tense she gets in the walk she doesn't really step very regularly 
in her medium walk. What did we get? We got a seven, which I think is quite generous. She didn't really stretch forward and down enough, but I tried to keep her moving forwards. And here it all comes up quite quickly. You have to medium walk before the marker, trot at the marker, and then canter at the next marker, I think. But actually we got an eight for all of this. I think it's just because it's accurate, you know, she's, she's doing all her transitions in the right places. And then here we are doing this funny line across the top, which I tried to ride a bit better and do a better shaped circle, which um, we got a seven with the comment losing jump. But overall, I think she doesn't look quite as long as <clears throat> she doesn't look quite as long in her frame as she could do. So we're holding it together just about, and I was pleased with her downwards transition there. I thought I managed to keep her together. And now we are coming towards the end of the test, thank God. Um, just around here we're going to have to do a half ten metre circle. And I was pleased normally she falls through the right shoulder and I really tried to keep the nice um, bend around this turn. Which worked because we got an eight for all of this and our last halt. I didn't think it was the best halt. She tries to halt from about here and you'd like keep going. But yes, overall very pleased with that. Right, I'm just coming in to break up this vlog quickly because um, unfortunately, as you will have seen from the weather, it was not on our side. Um, it was torrential rain all day, which meant that trying to get my phone out to film was near on impossible. And in the end, I did just give up. So I'm afraid it is not the best vlog in terms of footage because after we do my dressage test, um, it literally starts getting worse and worse and worse and no filming or vlogging really took place. So I will put in the footage that we did get um, and just to kind of talk through the day with you because there's no footage of it, Pizzazz did then go on to jump a super double clear so I am absolutely thrilled with her. She felt so much better than Waverton so obviously uh, giving her a bit more hard feed paid off because she felt fab. Um, I will put in my show jumping around in a minute because that is on film but unfortunately we did not get any cross country footage because it was torrential rain and we were soaked through. We had changed outfits so many times and we were just fed up and wanted to get home really. Um, but also we managed to finish third in our section um, which was amazing. So our dressage we got a 25 which is our new PB and it was a kind section but that was that put us ninth after dressage um, and then yeah she jumped a super double clear which pulled us up to third so absolutely over moon with her and I'm really sorry there's no cross country footage but you wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway because it was horizontal rain um, anyway I'll finish with my show jumping round and hopefully next time we're out and about we'll actually be able to get my phone out and do some filming hey Hugo so yeah sorry for the short vlog but I wanted to share it with you anyway because it was such a fab result off the back of a pretty flat time eventing at our last one. Uh, 